everybody. Welcome to the segment. We're here at a Luxury Plus Galaxy Theater seeing the much-anticipated Hunger Games movie, Mockingjay Part 1. Let's go in and see what the first fans have to say about the movie. So what did you guys think of the new Hunger Games? It was just completely epic. Wasn't it epic? <laughs> it was good. You know what I noticed about this one? There wasn't any actual Hunger Games, but there was a lot of intrigue and war. What would you think? We didn't want um, it to end. <laughs> so what would you think? I loved it. I'm a huge Hunger Games fan, okay. so I had to come to the first screen of Mockingjay, of course. So, I mean, it was completely worth it. I mean, a, way, a whole year um, after Catching Fire, and just to see it now was unbelievable, and I highly recommend it to anyone. It was awesome. It was awesome. Can't wait for the second one. Now I see a Downing Class of 2013. Have you guys, like, kind of grown up with the series, or what? Yeah, yeah. we go to all movie premieres together. Last time we went to the movie, last two movie premieres together. Now, um, can I can I ask you something? Um, we're, we're three movies in. What's the deal with Peta? Like, why is Katniss so into him when she's got like Liam Hemsworth? I mean, come on. No. Right. Do you guys like Peta? Are you team Peta or what? I don't. Is there a team Peta this thing? Is this Twilight. is this isn't Twilight? No. <laughs> we loved it. We actually were in LA for the premiere, really? and we got to see it with all the movie stars. In Cool, so that had to be amazing. Oh, yeah. It was did you, like, win a contest or something? Um, or? Actually, we went there to go to the red carpet. Okay. And so um, they didn't have enough room for us to go on carpet, yeah. so they let us go see the movie. Very, very so cool. it, we got to see that. So you got to see it twice, so after seeing it twice, is it still fun the second time? Yeah, you pick up a lot more that you didn't see, in the first, you know, yes. a little bit more of the... Now, there was no actual Hunger Games in this movie, but um, it kind of is, it's like going into a different feel, like like an intrigue war movie. Yeah, it's, it's building up. Yeah, building so up to what you know. You kind of want to know that going in, but do you think if you like the Hunger Games, you're going to like this one? You know, yes. It's just more intense and a different. Yeah, you're right. It's a different feel. I wish that they made the last two as one movie. Okay. <laughs> that's what I've been there's asking. So much. There's so much action in both of them, and so you're going to get all the action in the last part of the Mocking J films. And you kind of want, like, you know, you get the nice build up in this one, but the first ones are more like, you know, you're going to get, you know, that rebellion. And yeah, because I wonder, you know, when you, you know, let's say 10 years from now when you're watching the series on a weekend, is this going to be the movie that you might skip just to, you know, to get to the second one where everything um, happens? Well, I wouldn't say it's very much like the first half of the Deathly Hollows. Like that one was like slow. It's like they camp the whole time. This one, I think that it has a few like really good parts. Okay. And then the end is, if you haven't read the books, the end is a big shocker. If you okay. have read the books, yeah. the end is like, why did you end there? <laughs> They played it up so well, like the way that I thought District 13 was going to look was exactly the way that I thought it was going to be in the book. All right. And the only thing I would say is I was a little upset about the way that they interacted Katniss with Gail okay. compared to what was in the book. Now, now can I ask you something, because you obviously um, have some knowledge into this universe. Why isn't Katniss head over heels for Liam Hemsworth? Hello. Like, I mean, what has PETA really done for her lately? Well, I think that, she, well, she's dramatic, okay. you know, she's just, I think she just thinks that because Gail is so hardworking and he's kind of like the man-man. He's like totally in her. He is. And I think that she's just kind of likes the shy guy who's not like up in her face, like Katniss, do this, Katniss, okay. do that. Right. So I think she's kind of like, okay, he just wants to care for me. So she's all about PETA. Was this one just to build up to the second one or, or did this one have value by itself? I feel it's a kind of a mix of both. Like it did build up for the second one. It left off. It left. It left off on a pretty big cliffhanger. Yeah. But as, for the movie alone by itself, I thought it was amazing, yeah. and it. I just, mean, you know, like somebody like me, I, I didn't read the book, so for me, it was just an awesome movie. You know. Yeah. So overall, the movie itself, I liked it, and I can't wait for part two. Now, uh, one more thing. This one didn't actually have any Hunger Games in it. No. And, and is the second part going to have any Hunger Games? Or are we done with the Hunger Games? Is it all war from here? It's all war from here. The games finally made it to Pan Am, and fire is catching, and Katniss is ready to be the Mockingjay. Awesome, awesome. And, and uh, what about all the acting and everything? It was kind of um, weird seeing Philip Seymour Hoffman up there, you know, right? I was kind of like, it's kind of, you know. Yeah, like when... Um, when I heard that he passed away, I, I was really sad about it, being a big Hunger Games fan and a fan of all of, the, all of his other work. So I was really curious to see how they planned on doing that for Mockingjay. Yeah, because I'm not sure if he lived long enough to be in the next one or not. I don't know. Yeah, but overall, I feel like they were able to get him in really well. Like, I would have never guessed that they did some, like, movie like movie magic. Yeah, if they did, I didn't know to see them. Yeah, neither did I. I was looking for it. Yeah, it was really amazing, and they did a great job with him. Now, you're definitely a film buff. We see it a lot of these. One of Philip Seymour Hoffman's last times we're going to see him on the big screen. What'd you think? He's he's good as usual. Um, it's kind of sad to see a, a couple actors go this year. 
You know, you got. Uh, you know, we saw a preview for um, before the movie started for um, Night in the Museum. Yeah, that's that's what know. that's what I was just thinking. You know, they show the preview and hate to see him go too, but um, and it's almost like as you're watching him, I, I like Phil Seymour Hoffman a lot, and you're kind of just enjoying every last minute that you can have with him yeah. on the big screen because we'll still get to watch his movies, but not not on the big screen. It almost feels like the tone is really shifted in the movie to like war and intrigue and stuff. How did you like that? Um, I thought it wasn't as exciting. But... Oh, really? So you thought like the first two were kind of more exciting? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's an interesting perspective because they kind of split this one into two movies from one book. Did you feel like maybe they should have made one movie instead and kind of compressed it more? If, it, if they would have put it into two, then it would have been like so much happening that you would they would have left out a lot of really important parts. Okay, so it was kind of necessary. Okay. All right. Cool. Well, so now seeing it on the big screen, is that should people do that or should they rent it at home or what do you think? Yes, yeah, see it on the big screen. We were down at the bottom, so we were like so looking us, and then we had to look. It was still worth it. it. Right. We still had to. See at it least at Galaxy, you can kind of like recline the seats, so you, it gives you some it was, help. It was comfortable. Room. Yeah. This could have been one movie instead of two. I think now, um, but I'm wondering what, what do you think? So you think it should have been one? I think it should have been one movie. Okay. And, but I knew they, they were where they were going to end it. And I think they could have ended it a little stronger. Okay. But I was still on my feet about the way they ended it. Did it feel like kind of slow to you? Is that why it should have been one movie? or? or I think so. I think they kind of took it out a little bit. They kind of like put a lot of politics in it that I think okay. it could have been a little more action. Like one thing I was thinking is like when you get the box set in a couple years, that this might be the one that everybody skips, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I wish they would have made it one. Mm -hmm. Like, I can't say it even anymore that I wish okay. they would have been one. So, what do you think about seeing it on the big screen? Do you think this is a rent at home or big screen movie? Um, I think if you have the right equipment at your house, it can definitely be an at home movie, but it's really nice to see it, and especially here at Galaxy, you have the seats, you can relax yeah. and just like hang out and get it's, the popcorn yeah, and show everybody else what you got yeah. too. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You, a little mocking J thing. Ticket ripped yeah. over there. They give you this little pin. I don't know if that's like nationwide or not, but that's really cool. Yeah. I like the seats so much. You know, it's like a death sentence to have that, right? <laughs> then watch out for President Snow. So. All right, cool. And how'd you like it on the big screen? I like all the movies on the big screen. I'm here every week, so. Cool. Well, thank you guys. <laughs> thank you guys very much. Well, that's what the first fans had to say about the movie. Now go ahead and give us your review in the comment section below this video. And also, be sure to check out a Luxury Plus Galaxy Theater the next time you go out and check out a new movie because it is an amazing way to see a new movie in the lap of luxury. And subscribe to this YouTube channel because we're going to be back here next week with more first fan reviews. We'll see you then.